Hello, and welcome back to Getting Started with Zellcor. In our previous episode, we showed how to register a new account and customize Zellcor with our own avatar and background. This episode will show you how to further secure your account using Zell ID and decentralized two-factor authentication. But first, if you have not yet started using Zellcor, get your copy from zellcor.io. And now, Let's explore the added benefits of Zelle ID for securing your account. Over on zelleid.io, you can learn all about this unique form of decentralized authentication. Not only can you use your Zelle ID to log in to supported websites, you can also create your own decentralized two-factor authentication PIN, providing added protection for all accounts linked to your Zelle ID. While the login feature is currently in development, you can try it for yourself by logging into your Zellcore account, then clicking the login button here. This automatically redirects you to Zellcore, where you will be prompted to verify your identity by signing and sending your unique Zell ID back to the site. Further details explaining the incredible potential of using blockchain technology to secure your logins and identity are explained on this site. For the purposes of this video, we will be making use of Zell ID to further secure our Zellcore wallet by creating a decentralized two-factor authentication PIN. A brief note on how this process works. Zell ID creates a transaction on the Zell blockchain that stores an encrypted version of your PIN. Whenever you attempt to log in or send crypto out of your Zellcore wallet, you will be prompted to enter your D2FA PIN. And since the PIN is stored on the blockchain, it is immune to exploits that centralized two-factor authentication systems encounter. And the best part of this added security is that you can change your PIN as often as you like. All it does is creates a new transaction on the blockchain, maintaining the decentralized nature of this technology. Since Zell ID creates a new transaction on the Zell blockchain, we will need to store a small amount of Zell in our Zell wallet. There are several ways to obtain Zell. You could mine it with your GPU. You could trade for it on one of our partner exchanges. Or you could purchase it directly within Zelle by using one of the built-in exchanges like CryptoWolf. Please be aware that different mining pools and exchanges charge fees for providing a service and that all Zellcore users are encouraged to do their own research before trading on any third-party exchanges. Once you have obtained your Zelle, you are ready to create your own decentralized two-factor authentication PIN. To begin, we click on the Apps tab, then click on Zell ID. Next, click on Create or Change your D2FA PIN. Then, at the top, you can enter your PIN. Verify that same number. And then it is recommended to use both of these checkboxes to fully secure your Zellcore wallet. This way, you will need your PIN to enter into the wallet as well as do any transacting, view private keys, or any Zell ID operations. After that, enter your password and click on Setup D2FA. And we have our confirmation that it has been successfully set up. To verify our transaction, we can click on the Zell Cash Wallet and look at our transaction history. And here we see one transaction for a very small amount of Zell, which will contain the encrypted version of our D2FA PIN. This transaction is now in the process of being broadcast to the entire Zell network, which means that as long as you are able to access just one node of the Zell network, you will be able to use your D2FA PIN to log into your account. Now that our transaction has been verified, let's test our settings by quitting, logging out, and logging in once again.
and upon logging in, we are prompted to enter our new D2FA pin. That's all for this episode on using Zelle ID to create your own decentralized two-factor authentication pin to secure your Zelle Core assets. Join us for the next episode where we'll take our Zelle Core assets on the go by connecting our account to a mobile device, whether that be a tablet or our phone. We hope you found this video helpful and we look forward to continuing to develop the most secure, flexible, and easy to use wallet available.